Hello, it's me. Um, this is my third attempt to do this video. I've had kids screaming and fighting. I've had all these different things come up. Then now I'm, uh, I'm getting really tired of going over all of this. But it has to be done, so I'm going to do it. Um, this is my 32 week video. My update on my 32 weeks pregnancy. I'm sorry if my kids are super loud down there. They're having their video game time. After, after homework, I always let them just, like, mindlessly play video games until I cut them off and they're done. But So they're doing that, and they tend to fight a lot when they do their video games because of one person wanting to play the certain guy or want to play the other game or whatever. So having to be referee a lot right now, and I'm going to try to zoom through this before they have to have me be referee again. I went to the doctor today, and I was told I had diabetes, which is shocking because I was at the doctor two weeks ago where I saw a nurse practitioner and was told that I was fine, <laughs> and my results were in. So my, my doctor is beyond mad at this nurse for telling me that I was okay. Because I could have been monitoring or at least been trying to get in to the clinic to learn about monitoring, monitoring my blood sugar levels for the last two weeks. Um, she's hoping to get me into this clinic within the next two weeks. And so that's, I mean, it's going to be, by that time, it's going to be six weeks since I've taken my test. And um, I'm 32 weeks. I have eight weeks left until I am due. And the fact that I haven't done anything for it is kind of scary. I don't know anybody with diabetes. Uh, no one in my family has it. It doesn't run in my family. Um, so I have no nothing about it. I'm kind of like completely naive. I have no idea. So I'm going to hit Google. <laughs> and I'm going to start researching different reasons. What, you know, I know you're supposed to watch a little, the little bit I found out through friends on my pregnancy board from them having it too. Is you know managing your sugars and your carbs and um, things like that. Um, I was cleared for exercise because my placenta previa is gone, and um, so I was. I'm able to do that. I'm going to start walking every day. Um, it's storming out right now, which we totally need the water here in California. But um. So I won't be able to walk as much as I want right now, but I will be starting to walk on the days when it's not raining for at least 15, 20 minutes a day, if not longer. Um, so besides dealing with this whole shock of having diabetes, um, things are pretty normal. My baby's happy and healthy. Um, my blood sugar is fine. Or my my Blood pressure is fine. Um, I my iron levels are good, which are good to know as I am a vegetarian. Um, I'm just freaking out about this whole diabetes thing. <laughs> it's really getting to me. Um, I uh, let me see. I've been drinking a ton of water. I don't know if I said in my last week's video. It's easy. I mean, I could easily drink two to three hundred ounces of water a day easily. I have a 20 ounce mug and I'll fill it up and literally down it. And then I'll fill it up and I'll usually down like half of it again. And then I'll fill it up and I'll take that with me before I even leave the refrigerator with my water. Like I've already drank like one and a half of those. And then I'll sip on the other one for the next hour or so. And then I'll couple hours and then I'll go get another one. So I mean I drink a ton of water which is causing me to have to pee a lot at night. I wake up between one to two hours and pee. Um, I try not to fall asleep on the toilet. <laughs> most of the time I'm so tired from just you know just been going back to sleep and then having to wake up and pee again that I'm just like I can fall asleep sitting there before I even get my business done to get back to bed. Um but besides that, I've been sleeping pretty well. I have had a couple nights where I've been waking up with the acid coming up when you're almost choking on it. Um, I 
had it really bad with my other two kids when I was pregnant with them. This time I haven't had it that bad. So I'm glad because that's miserable. Um, but this time I haven't had it that bad, which is good. I'm hoping it's not going to get worse, knock on wood. Um, my sister is three weeks further along than I am in pregnancy, and so she's 35, and she's having it really bad right now. And I'm like, please, I hope I don't get it that bad. Um, I also... Oh, another weird thing, I was talking to my mom today. I don't know if this is hormones, but I have curly hair going on here. If you can see this curl. And I have a couple other ones, like, all around underneath here. Besides the fact that it's raining right now, and so my hair is, like, super duper frizzy. But, um, I, I guess this is hormones. I think it's odd. I have curly hair. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but that's a whole other thing. I'm feeling the animosity of my kids fighting, getting worse, so I should hurry up before I have to start this over again. Um, anything else within 32 weeks? Um, I do have some baby buys that I want to do a video on. Um, I have been working on my hospital bag, which I want to do another video on. Um, my mom came to my house today and cleaned. Thank you. She, um, had decided a couple months ago, or a few months ago, that she was going to stop working and instead, you know, just change her lifestyle. And she's older, so, I mean, she's not that older, but, um, she's definitely not retiring age, but she's in her 50s. I'm not going to post out there how old she is, but, you know. So she's decided, you know, to help out a little bit, knowing that, you know, I am in full-time school. My husband works full-time, and now we're going to be raising three kids. And I know everybody does it, but since she's not doing anything work-wise, and all she's really doing is fixing up her house and, you know, doing that type of stuff, she really wants to help us out a little bit. So she's been coming down once a week and just doing laundry and just to really visit, which I love. I love just sitting and talking, so. I'm glad that she does that. She's always like, I can't talk. I'm busy. And I'm always like, I want to just talk. <laughs> but so, um, anything else new? I'm trying to think. I have some crafts that I've been working on. I have some baby buys. So those are a couple videos I got to do. I got to do my packing video. Um, another thing that I want to really work on, which wasn't in my goal video this month. But I'm going to add it because I really want to do it. And I, I think it's part of my nesting kicking in. Um, but I have to go through my kids' playroom. It is uncontrollably out of control. I told them I'm going to go through it. And I'm going to throw away a ton of toys. Well, not throw them away. I have a yard sale pile going. We have a yard sale every year. So I have a yard sale pile going. And I'm going to put some away for Jackson. He, like They have um, the Imaginex Bat Caves. And like the Toy Stories and all these different like caves and things and all the little tiny guys and that stuff's expensive and my kids played with them for like four years straight they don't play with them anymore now that they're um five and six so they um i'm gonna put that stuff away for jackson and i'm just, I'm just gonna go through and really streamline their playroom knowing that i'm gonna have to start bringing in baby toys and start balancing that out so that's something i'm gonna really do this this month as well um which is not part of my goal video. But so 32 weeks, I have diabetes. I'm drinking a ton of water. I'm going to start walking. Um, I have some baby buys to do a video on. Um, but besides that, I don't have much to update. I think that's it. <laughs> um, I'm getting more subscri subscribers, which I love. So keep passing me around, pass me around so that I can get more, um, especially, you know, I, I'd love to hear your stories, especially if you're overweight and pregnant. I know it's something that's rough to go through. Um, I haven't been having any back pains, which I'm thankful for, because I have really bad scoliosis. Um, so that's good. I'm sure that's to come. I've been having some contractions. But nothing bad. Um, 
Yeah. So that should be it for now. And I should look forward to doing the more videos from now. All right. You guys have a good one.